the common sense approach to spiritual life uh, we always come with especially here in the Western world we have enormous level of choices uh, everywhere is choices we can choose uh, in every area of life but in order for us to make choices where it uh, really counts we know in the natural ecosystem we are frequency, we are energy, we are vibrations. Uh, things that is really shifting uh, when we work according, according with these uh, vibrational energetic frequencies. Uh, this is where we make the substantial level of choices and uh, this is how the ecosystem exists because the choices are very clear and the stronger uh, elements, a stronger species, a stronger plants, uh, they shape the, our ecosystem. The common sense observation for the human species, uh, although we have uh, uh, extraordinary amount of choices, uh, we are to make uh, the most wisest uh, decisions that affects our life because we are mind body and spirit and our tools uh, that is given to us uh, by the uh, senses uh, this is how we navigate uh, the life's journey in the earth school so it is really important for us to pay attention to these uh, divine choices that we are to make. Uh, the environmental factor uh, is a common sense because we are to uh, maintain that healthy uh, level of balance uh, in our mind, body and spirit uh, that applies for our ecosystem. Although we like to ignore all the environmental factors uh, but it is a divine responsibility for us to live in harmony with our ecosystem. We know, some of us know, because we hug trees, we hang around trees most of our life, uh, so we are in tune with these environmental factors. It's only fair, it's only a vice that we exist in harmony with our ecosystem for the best outcome for us. Uh, the common sense observation, we have to choose. If we go to school, we like to choose. If we uh, have a friendships, we like to choose. If we have um, uh, employment, uh, sometimes uh, we don't have choices, but sometimes uh, it is always uh, encouraged that we choose something that is aligned with our mind, body, and spirit. Uh, especially the divinely created divine feminine are to uh, not waste time in toxicity but make wise uh, choices, wise decisions where we leave space for healing of our own vessel but um, contribute something that is healing for the external factors uh, like our society, our social structure. So that's an important factor. Uh, also, when we are to buy a car, buy a home, or have a relationship, we always like to choose. Uh, sometimes it's not the best outcome, but we like to choose. Nevertheless, we uh, think we are making the best choice uh, for us, uh, so we, uh, we use our uh, antenna, our um, senses, and we uh, choice. Our choices are hopefully aligned with our uh, divine vessel and the compatibility. But it's because we are energetic vessel, because we are frequency, we are energy. We um, when we use the sensory. Uh, the, a part of our body, mind, our eyes, our hearing. Uh, this is where we uh, get to choose your immediate encounter. But 
because we are energetic vessel, it is so much more uh, than what is uh, immediate observation. So this is why, this is how we maintain our life here in this uh, uh, free uh, to choose uh, circumstances in our planet Earth. So making choices uh, that is uh, appropriate for our mind, body, and spirit is a huge responsibility. If we are not aligned, if we're not grounded, if we're not connected, our choices could be uh, extremely off for our existence. Uh, this is why it is really important from a very young age we make these uh, spiritual mind, body, spirit connection uh, with our ecosystem so that we are equipped to con continue life in the least uh, stressful manner. So, for example, if we are um, not using our sensory uh, to judge, uh, it's have it has consequences. Like last few years, we experienced this uh, uh, these things that external world offer us. Um, we never questioned. We never uh, paid attention. We were maybe forced into. And nevertheless, we made decisions because uh, someone is expecting for us to make uh, these choices. However, the responsibility lies with us. If we make um, observation, uh, it is our personal responsibility to maintain our divine vessel in the most uh, uh, harmonious manner. Uh, it's not uh, exposed to sicknesses and uh, disease because we are disconnected and we are uh, failed uh, species because we made uh, decisions that is not the most holistic uh, choice. The freedom of choice has consequences. This is why we need to uh, continue paying attention to every little details. Although it sounds exhausting, when we are not paying attention, when we haven't done our work, when we haven't done healing uh, in accordance with the, our energetic frequency uh, system, uh, we continue to maintain the same level of toxicity by making poor choices that affects our well-being, uh, our whole well-being as a a person, individual, as a family, and as a society and a human species. Uh, this is why we have to continue to stay vigilant and make these uh, wise uh, decisions for us. It is our personal responsibility. Um, when we uh, when we are doing things to please our physical body, we are doing vacationing. We are doing all the things we got the designer things and everything else but uh, this is not counting for our existence uh, these are not frequencies they are not energetic uh, shifts or changes that is required for us to stay holistic and balanced uh, in accordance with the divine responsibility uh, this is where we uh, spend a lot of time and energy instead of uh, changing our circumstances and uh, healing. The growth is healing and when we, when we observe in the natural ecosystem, uh, growth happens uh, very rapidly uh, in, uh, in the, uh, the flowers and, and the fruits and uh, all these things happen continuously but uh, because it's a stronger uh, ecosystem. Otherwise, it's become uh, diseased, uh, disconnected, and is no longer able to survive. So uh, ask ourselves these questions. Why is it 
why is it important uh, that we choose the uh, using all the sensory tools uh, for our divine vessel uh, instead of relying on external factors to give us uh, uh, give us uh, information to move forward so this is a test uh, is tests uh, for the survival of human species and we are to pay attention and this is why awakening uh, to these uh, circumstances is our personal responsibility. We say that repeatedly because uh, there is no other way. In order for us to uh, survive in the uh, human species uh, uh, condition, uh, we have to survive all areas of our life by using these sensory tools. Uh, mind, body and spirit can never be uh, disconnected. It has to maintain the level of connection uh, to survive and uh, strengthen our human condition.